Well, we have learned that FEMA has declared Polk County a disaster zone. That allows residents who are experiencing damage to apply for some help. News Channel 8's Stefan Dingle spent the day along the lakes Hollingsworth in Lakeland, where many trees came down. The quest to get back to normal after Irma continues here in Lakeland. Debris and trees lay everywhere, including on the home of Mark McDonald, who came to check out the damage for the first time since Irma. Without crying? <laughs> no, it's devastation. It's horrible. I mean, I've had people come out here and tell me that it's structurally uh, unsound. I mean, it's you can see here that, I mean, I'm hoping that it's safe for us to be in here, but, you know, I'd had, I had to get in here because I wanted to see exactly what was going on. And Mark McDonald just bought this property a few months ago, but his story is like so many others here in Polk County, underscoring the importance of assistance from FEMA. Two days after Irma, Polk County was finally declared a disaster zone, in part thanks to Florida Congressman Dennis Ross, who I spoke with by phone. Congressman, now that this has been declared, uh, what, what happens next? Well, the next step is they need to go online with FEMA and make their individual request. They will be in line for individual grants, uh, you know, uh, low interest or no interest loans. But there's a lot of people out there right now that don't have homes to go to, don't have electricity. You know, when, it, when you're dealing with, my kids are grown, but when you have young kids and you have to take care of all their needs, you know, I, I really feel for them and pray for them and those families. But like I said, I'm just happy that I'm safe and my family's safe, but again, property can be replaced. In Lakeland, Stefan Dingle, News Channel 8.